Hi everyone. Today what I'd like to do is I'd like to talk about three different saws that I've used in the woods and some of the pluses and minuses of each, each of them. And I also want to show you my all-time favorite saw that I've used in the woods. Uh, it's a couple of important things that you want to remember about carrying a saw. Uh, a saw is a very handy way for you to uh, cut materials to length for either uh, making fires and making uh, wood more a little bit transportable if you're making fires. They can also be used for helping you to cut things to length to make shelters. So I always like to carry a saw with me uh, just because it does make gathering firewood and shelter being building significantly easier. Uh, one of the first saws that I ever used was, or one that I used in the woods extensively, was this Gerber with the retractable blade on it. This is a real lightweight saw. It weighs just a little over uh, three and a quarter ounces. And it does do a nice job of cutting smaller pieces of wood. One of the downsides to it is that uh, if the blade gets stuck in the wood, it does tend to buckle. And I'll show you how that cuts in just a little bit. But that's the Gerber. The second saw that I'm gonna demonstrate for you is the Sven saw. This is a slightly heavier saw. This one weighs about 10 and a half ounces. And it, it carries like this in a sheath. In order to assemble it, you just turn, off, turn the, the wing nut and take it off. Pull it out of the sheath, expose the blade. Then, the threaded rod goes in here, and then the back of the saw goes in the other way, and just assemble it so that the rod comes through, and then your wing nut goes back on to hold everything in place. It's a nice sturdy saw, and it does do a nice job of cutting. You see it's got a real aggressive blade on it. You can replace uh, the, the blades on it. Uh, they sell them in different sizes. This one is the uh, smaller version of the saw and it cuts real nicely. It doesn't have the problem that the Gerber does where the, the blade doesn't buckle as much because it's secured on both ends. Uh, one of the downsides of this saw is that because of the triangular shape that you have here, it uh, gives you a fairly short length of throw when you're cutting. So you'll see how that's not quite as efficient as the saw viber that I'm going to do in a minute. Now, this is my all-time favorite saw. This is called a saw viber. Thank you for the drum roll. And uh, it has much more of a shape of a traditional, of a traditional uh, hacksaw. In the handle, you can store multiple blades. In this case I have two wood blades. They also have a bone blade and a metal cutting blade that you can use. So it's always nice to be able to carry an extra blade with you. To open this one up and assemble it, you just turn the handles over and then put the blade down over the little nipples in the handle. And then once you've got that assembled and snapped in place, you just turn clockwise and you tighten up the blade as much as you want to. This is the larger size saw viber. This is an 18 inch blade. They also make it in a 15 inch blade. Uh, both the Sven and the saw viber run around 25, between 25 and $30. The Gerber costs um, probably around $10. But now, what I'd like to do is I'd like to show you how all of these cut. And the first one that I'm gonna start out with is the Gerber. And you can see while I'm cutting with this that the blade does tend to stick a little bit. And when it sticks, if you don't stop right away, it has a tendency to bend on you, and I've even broken one. So it cuts reasonably well. It's a very lightweight saw at just a couple of ounces, and it's also nice and compact 
uh, when it's folded up, it's probably not much more than about six or eight inches. So that is the Gerber. Next one that I would like to cut with is going to be the Sven saw and move this branch slightly. You could hold this saw either above the blade or below the blade. I think I get a little bit better control when I'm holding above the blade. And same thing, I'm gonna start cutting. And you'll notice it's got a little bit of a short throw to it just because of the way that the blade is set up. Not so bad with smaller sticks, but when you get into three inch or four inch wood that you're cutting, the throw gets awful short. So that's the Sven saw. Last one that I want to show you is the saw viver. And the saw viver cuts with the full length of throw. You can see I'm not going as many times here. And it cuts faster than either the Gerber or the Sven saw. But this one is definitely my favorite. All three of these saws will do a nice job for you. So I hope you learned something in my video today. I hope you enjoyed watching it. Please subscribe to my YouTube channel and tell your friends uh, if you think they'd enjoy my videos. And as always, take your kids camping and have a great day, folks.